Hi guys and welcome to this short video. Uh, my new pastel matte paper has come so I thought I'd uh, show you the unboxing or unpackaging of that. I just recorded this video uh, three times. Uh, my neighbour was playing his guitar the first time, there was uh, loads of noise uh, the second time and the third time the postman decided to ring the bell. I was like, Aah! but anyway, I thought I'd show you some of the papers that I use. Uh, this is my Strathmore Town Grey. It's only 117 grams or 118 uh, GSM, I think. Uh, it's not ideal for blending, really, uh, but I have used it in the past and put markers down on it and coloured pencils and blended, so it's not been too bad. Um, so, yeah, uh, a lot of you are waiting for the second part to my tiger drawing because I've been doing that on cheap paper and that will be coming next week. This is a smaller Strathmore book I've got, and this is the Tone Tan one. It's only A5 size, and again, only 118 GSM. I haven't really used that often, only once, I think, on a Frozen drawing that I did. Uh, this is a Reflex de Capo uh, watercolour paper. It's 165 uh, GSM, and it's a very toothy paper. So uh, you can get a lot of layers on this. Uh, it's not very smooth, but it's not a bad paper overall, to be honest. Um, and at 165 uh, GSM, it's not that bad. This is a, an old German pad that I used to use, Quattro. Uh, it's a, sort of a corn, corn colour type thing, or a sort of light tan. It's uh, not actually that bad. It's about it's 130 GSM, I think. And this is sort of some of the cheap artist paper that I use, like I'm drawing the tiger on. Like I said, the tiger will be out, the tiger drawing part two next week, for those of you waiting for it. This is a, a German uh, paper that I use. I think it's Scholler's Hammer, Scholler's Hammer. And it's only, again, 110 GSM, as you can see, 110 grams. It's uh, not ideal, probably one of the worst papers I've used. I only used it once for colour pencil. I may use it in the future for sketches and stuff. You can see how thin it is. It's not very thick at all. Um, I've been talking a lot about the different papers that I use and that's why I'm doing the tiger drawing on the cheap paper. Uh, like I said, my heart wasn't really in it, but I think thought it would be a good challenge to try and do uh, something on cheap paper and just keep it up. Obviously, I can't wait to use my new paper now, but uh, this is my Bristol Smooth and this is uh, 250 uh, grams, as you can see, so it's quite thick and uh, it's got a really smooth surface with no toughing and this is the go-to paper for a lot of coloured pencil artists. Um, it's not really ideal for blending with pencil blend or white spirits or any blender because it's so smooth it just sort of slides off like watercolour but uh, if you burnish it's okay. So let's get on to my pastel mat, let's open it. Uh, if you're using a sharp knife and you're under 18 please have the supervision of an adult or please get to someone to do it for you. And if you are doing it, always try and cut away from yourself when you can. You don't want that sharp blade coming towards your fingers. It's best to cut away. There are times when, even on this video, when I do do little cuts towards myself, but there are only little nicks and stuff. You just have to be really careful what you're doing and really safe. Uh, so let's get this open and let's have a look at my new pastel matte paper. Can't wait to uh, do some animal drawings on this and maybe try some other stuff on the darker sheets. Gosh, this is a tough box to get into. I will get into this box. I will have my paper. It doesn't want me to get in. Right, there we are. Let's uh, do I need a knife. No, let's just make it sure it's safe. Right, let's uh, get into this then. Uh, I'm just going to rip the sides off the box because my camera tripod is uh, at 12 o'clock uh, as you look at the video. So um, I can't really turn objects without it uh, knocking the tripod. Oh, I think it just slides out. And there we are, there's my new pastel matte paper. Like I said, I can't wait to uh, try some animal drawings on this. Uh, there's four different colours that come with this. There's uh, uh, four, three sheets, sorry, of each colour. Uh, I think it's uh, is it 12 sheets in all, yeah. And there's four buttercup, four maize, four dark grey and four light grey. So let's uh, get into this, shall we? Yeah, another tricky bit of uh, packaging to get off. It does not want me to see this paper, does it? But I will. I will get in there. Let's uh, just use the knife to nick this out. Like you can see there, I was cutting sort of towards myself then, but my other hand was miles away from the knife and uh, pretty safe usage. Uh, 
you can see that I haven't put, retracted my knife, which is a no-no, really. You should always do that, make sure you're safe. Right, uh, before I do this, I'm going to uh, wash my hands. Uh, we don't want to get any marks on it. And let's have a look at my new pastel matte paper. It's uh, 24 by 30 centimetres. And the first thing I notice is there's a blemish on the first sheet. Uh, there's a little horrible little uh, something or other on there. Don't think it will affect it too much. Ah, this first colour is Buttercup, and there's a lovely protective sheet between sheets, which just goes to show you that there's no protective sheet on the first one, which I presume is the only piece of paper without a protective sheet, and there's a blemish on it, so just goes to show you that these do work. As you can see, that each sheet is white on the back, um, so you've got the Buttercup colour on the front, and then the white of the sheet on the back. Uh, I'll keep looking to the front of the book just to check the colour and it is quite different to the colour on the front to be honest. Uh, the next colour is, this is maize or I suppose corn in English. Um, yeah, uh, that's a nice pretty colour, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Love the protective sheets and this is uh, the dark grey. Now the first thing I've noticed on the dark grey, there's quite a lot of white spots. It's, uh, yeah, but look how thick this paper is. It's so thick, it's so solid. It's 360 GSM or 360 grams. That's 170 pounds. But yeah, on this sheet again here, there's a lot of white little uh, spots. Don't know whether you can pick them up on the camera, but there's four or five white spots on this dark gray sheet. I don't think it's really going to affect uh, the paper. I think it's just part and parcel of the, uh, the tooth of the paper. I think it's just sometimes that happens in the mix, I think, in the pulp of the paper. And this is the light grey. And that's quite pleasing. I like that. It's almost like an off-white. I think that would be really, really nice to draw on because I'll be able to see my initial sketch quite easily on that. And uh, I'll still be able to use a white pencil, I think. And again, I'm loving these protective sheets. I could almost think about using those to put down on my paper as protection, like the like the plastic sheets that you've seen me use. But anyway, yeah, that's my uh, pastel matte uh, paper. I'm really pleased with that. Um, and I can't wait to do some drawings on it. Um, so uh, my next video will be part two to my tiger on the cheap paper. And then I'm going to move on to the pastel mat. Uh, this is, I just wanted to show you this. This is my Zestic pencil blend that came as well a few weeks ago. I will be doing another video, a second video on all my uh, coloured pencil blending and what I use. So that will be coming up as well. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I can't wait to use this paper. I hope you all enjoyed seeing me open it. And uh, look out for part two to my Tiger video, like I said. Thanks to everybody who subscribes to my channel. Thanks to everybody who leaves comments. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all soon. Ta-ra.